This is Duke University. Terry Moffat and Av Shalom Caspi have spent their careers searching for the interactions between genes and environment. Their work, which tracks human development from infancy through adulthood, is being recognized at a ceremony in Zurich, Switzerland this December, where they will be awarded the Klaus Jakobs Research Prize for Productive Youth Development. Our research uses the longitudinal method. We follow large groups of children as they grow up for many years, which allows us to connect their experiences in childhood and adolescent to their health uh, and mental health as adults. What we'd like our research findings uh, to do is improve every child's chances so that as adults, they have the freedom to make better choices. Moffat and Caspi, who are married to each other, joined Duke in 2007 as distinguished professors in psychology, neuroscience, and genomics. What happens in this laboratory is genotyping. Uh, we collect uh, cheek swabs and blood from the participants in our research. It's brought here and DNA is extracted. And from the DNA, we assay genotypes for each individual child. They've found that the effects one's genes will have on one's life depend in part on the family environment and the lifestyle choices one makes. Yeah, I think that's what's needed. One can think of um, genes as being uh, the chances uh, of life whereas uh, the lifestyles are the choices. Uh, those are uh, where we have an opportunity to intervene in people's uh, lives. When I think about what it means to me that uh, our research won the Jacobs Prize, it's like receiving the, the stamp of approval from a real authority that we've succeeded. Produced by Duke University, online at duke.edu.